Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order's uh, Fate Apocrypha event. Uh, while I was off screen, I actually decided to do just a single roll, and I managed to get a single copy of Achilles. Which is good, because I haven't rolled for many servants outside John. But, you know, uh, John's banner is over now, so I guess I'll have to wait till next time. Whoop, nope, not that one, not that one. Go back, go back, go back. Alright, we are going to do the Section 2 Conclusive Battle. Progress the story a little bit. Hey, Meteor, buddy! Yeah, I'll take you with me. Yeah. So, let's, uh, let's do this then. So we're gonna fight the two casters and an assassin. Hmm. I don't know what, uh, Caster of Black's Noble Phantasm is. Never actually seen it. I mean, in the game. Okay, so we're not even going to have a cutscene, we're just going to go straight into battle. Makes sense, I suppose, because they said they're basically like zombies or mecha, they don't have emotions. I don't know what uh, Caster of Black's Noble Phantasm is in the game. I know that in Apocrypha, at least in the anime adaptation, his Noble Phantasm was like a golem or something. Uh, he was good at building golems, I remember that. Yeah, Apocrypha was a bit of a trip. Like, um... I really liked it, but I will say that it did leave a bunch of things unanswered, which I think the visual novel, or not visual novel, the light novel covered a bit better. From what I've been told, I haven't actually read it, I'm not much of a reader, at least when it comes to just books. Like, I'll read manga and comics all day, but uh, just reading reading is not really my thing. I say that, and yet I want to obsess over the Count of Monte Cristo, and he's like one of my favorite characters in the whole game. Though, I probably should actually take the time to read, read his book so I can appreciate his journey a bit more. Ooh, they're all glowy. What does the glowy mean? Steel mistletoe. Critical damage, okay. What do you got? No phantasm damage. Debuff resistance. All right. Huh. But Jack's gonna take a while to charge up, so. All right, let's just go in swinging. Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and Shakespeare's still over here in the Water Balloon Club. Did Kentucky get a uh, animation update? No, we are not your mommy, Jack the Ripper. morning. Sir Seek, Sir Gabriel. Hey, you're alive. It looks like you can kick some ass. The other nine have fallen back as well. While we still don't know what the next night will bring, for now let us rejoice in our victory. You said it. Thank you, everyone. I only hope that something changes for the better before tonight. Ah, don't worry, it'll all work out. That's what my gut says, and it hasn't failed me yet. I hope you're right. Man, see, you're a bit of a downer, aren't you? Why all the pessimism? 
I can't help but be anxious, not with the Greater Grail's fate resting on my shoulders. What's the big deal? It's yours to do with as you want, right? If worse comes to worse, then you could just smash it and call it a day? No, I couldn't. That... that's the one thing I can't do. Hmm. There must be something driving the servant copies, though I'm afraid I don't know what it may be. At any rate, why don't we take the rest of the day off? After we prepare for, uh, another screen spell, just in case they fall, they'll fall for the same trick. You might have to do all that again? Sir Zeke, would you be so kind as to accompany Sir Gabriel back to the fortress? Of course. Shall we, Gabriel? Now that I think about it, it seems rude to just call you by your name. How about, how should I address you? You can call me whatever you want, really. I see. Then I'll try to think of something that suits me. I'm going to check up on my real body. Go ahead and get some rest. I don't think you'll have to worry about getting hungry while you're here. But if you feel like eating something, I'd be happy to bring you some food from the communal kitchen. Uh, you know, I'm fine. Thank you. I see. Then please get some rest. Sweet dreams. That does have a nice ring to it. So sleepy again. Mommy? Mommy? Mommy! Captured. Murderer on a misty night. Serial killer of women. Young girl. Gestalt evil spirit. Assassin class. High rank presence concealment. Expert torturer. Jack the Ripper. It's all to you now, Kitor Malkuth. I believe you can create Eden in this land. Now go, save the world. Go and save our people. Captured. Kabbalist, golem master, foundation creator, philosopher, a poet, caster class, ruler of stone giants. Avisibron. Avisibron. Indeed, as it turns out, I'm quite pathetic when it comes to combat magecraft. But you, gods, will give us some faults to make, uh, to make us men. Captured. The greatest writer in the world, artist, stage actor, sovereign of stories, caster class, incomparable playwright, William Shakespeare. Establishing all three servant spirit origins, adding to blank. Me, me. Is someone speaking to me? Hello, are you awake? Seek, is that you? No, I'm not Sieg. Come on, Mommy. Uh, so Jack the Ripper's on our team now. Ah, you're awake. Good morning. Are you our Mommy? It's okay if you're not. You still seem like it. What the... We're the Assassin of Black, Jack the Ripper. Is something wrong? Why are you so surprised? You're the one who summoned us, right? Gabriel, we've got trouble! Huh? <gasps> you're... I don't even know what's going on anymore. M me neither. Who are you? Are you a servant? A friend? A foe? Which one? Uh, what do you want me to do with him, Mommy? Just calm down, okay? I, I'm a friend. Uh, I'm, I'm your friend. Oh, really? We don't really get it, but we're not gonna fight, huh? Gabriel? Come with me. It's not just her. Two other servants we fought last night have shown up as well. I see, I see. So that's what's going on here. Well, now that I know what is happening, permit me to introduce myself. My name is William Shakespeare, though perhaps Castle Red will be more will be better suited for me here. Oh, hello there. I, I see. So you are the Greater Grail's custodian, and you must be the master of Chaldea he summoned. I see, I see. So you've come to save the custodian's bacon, as it were. <laughs> how wonderful! How fantastic! What an extraordinary life you must lead. Please, allow me to mark this occasion by quoting a line from many, one of my many famous... Do you ever shut up? So the only ones who came back to life were the three of us that you two fought last night? Exactly. Now I have a question for all of you. Do you recall why you were summoned here? Not at all, no. Likewise. No idea. A Holy Grail War? No, that's not it. We don't sense any bloodlust or animosity, even though, even though you're servants. No, it's quite a surprise. I did consider the possibility, but I never thought that we'd be joined by three more servants all at once. This is certainly a welcome change in our situation. Hell yeah, now this is more like it. 
Sir Shakespeare, Sir Avisi Braun. And, um, us? We're Jack the Ripper. You're whom? The hell? Well, now, seems this is a day of surprises. That's true. When you think about it, then it really is surprising. Mommy, why is everyone looking at it? It's funny. It's okay, Jack. Come here. Okay. I didn't know she was so attached. Chiron, perhaps you can explain what's going on here in a way that all of us can understand. Well, very well then. I shall do my best to be concise. Now. I. C. Sir Seek? Sir Gabriel? It seems that the other servants will return to our side once you have defeated them. They should give us more than even odds against the remaining nine servants. Yeah, I say things are looking up now. Uh, teacher, may I say something? The difficulty here is that I is I'm afraid Avisi Braun and I are simply not suited for combat. No need to worry about that, Sir Shakespeare. Master Gabriel and Sir C know very well what you can and cannot do, and are sure to provide us with expert guidance. That's a pretty tall order, but I'll do what I can. Are you up for this, Gabriel? We'll figure something out, I think. I see, I see. In that case, dear patrons, we gladly offer our services for you to employ us as you see fit. Thank you for having us. What should we do, Mommy and Mr. Custodian? Okay, well, let's first figure out how we can best incorporate them into our plan for tonight. I'll start by keeping an eye on Shakespeare. Good point. Speaking for myself, though, I just want to make sure that you don't do anything that will complicate the situation further. Like summoning Saber Shield Array out of nowhere. I'm glad to know you two trust me so Im implicitly. What in the world did you do? Hey, Mr. Custodian. Uh, yes? Are you avoiding us? Uh, no, of course. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, no, I'm... I guess I'm alright, aren't I? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Uh, did we try to kill each other or something? Yes, I'm afraid I saw what happened in your past. Hmm, now we understand. What do you think about it? I thought it was horrible. Yes, we guess it was. But does it bother you, Mr. Custo Why does it bother you, Mr. Custodian? Why would other people's past and memories matter to you? Well, I care. I wanted to save all of you. Even though we're here now because you couldn't save us? That's true. You're right about that. Hmm. What's the expression for this again? I think it's... Feeling down? Not exactly, but it's close. A loss for words? That's it. We see. So we lost. Well, technically speaking, I was the one who beat you. But I was there when you fell. That's okay. We were fighting a Holy Grail. A Great Holy Grail War, right? Everybody tries to kill everyone else in those. But we were on the black team, right? So why were we fighting you? Didn't Mr. Chiron say that you were on the black team too? It's kind of a long story. Do you still want to hear it? Nuh uh. Got it. Why don't we talk about something else then? How does that sound? Sure, as long as it's not uh, about doctors in London. Alright, then let's see. I know, what about food? Yeah, that, that's always a good conversation topic. I didn't realize we've been talking for so long. Oh, it's Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Uh. We better get going. It's almost time for the next battle. Right. Let's give it our all. Yeah! Alright, our plan for tonight is essentially the same as yesterday. We'll lure three enemy servants out and distract the others so they don't interfere. But tonight, I won't ask Sir Sieg and Master Gabriel to handle the three servants all on their own. Achilles, I want you to go with them while I handle the diversion. Really? You sure? Avisi Braun, I want you to summon as many golems as you can and have them follow my lead. As for Shakespeare, why don't you cast an enchant on whichever side you think will provide the most entertainment. That's your plan for him? Most happily. In that case, I shall go with Gabriel, naturally. For his side looks to be entertaining indeed. You see, it worked out nicely. Chiron's actually quite cunning. Of course, do be aware that I absolutely will not be uh, taking part in the fighting myself. Teacher, teacher, we want to fight with Mommy, too. I'm sorry, Jack, but I'm afraid that will leave a hole in our defenses. And that would only make trouble for your mother. Aw. Please, Jack. Oh, alright, Mommy. 
We'll do our best to dismember them all. I'm surprised she's so obedient. Alright then, see you again, Master. Let's get this party started. Hmm? Ah, it's no big deal. I can tell you're a good Master from the way you fought last night. So, you know, it just makes sense for me to take orders from you. But hey, don't worry about me. You don't need to change anything while, uh, you don't need to change anything you're doing. Just keep following your own path, and I'll clear the way for you. <laughs> uh, would you happen to know the Queen of the Amazons? Y yes I do. Wait, don't tell me she's on the enemy side. She's not, right? Uh, could she could be summoning Chaldean at some point? Then no, that, that's fine. This, this is fine. This is fine. Everything, everything is fine. Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Berserker of El Dorado, and I just summoned Achilles. Uh oh. <laughs> this feels so strange. Hmm. Uh, what do I mean? Well, during the Great Holy Grail War, I never directly interacted with Achilles. I never thought I'd end up fighting alongside him. This should make for some uh, good memories. Memories. Well, yeah, it's nice having memories like this, isn't it? As far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many. Especially in my case, since I don't have that many to begin with. Alright, let's get to the fighting. There's no way we can lose with this team, no matter who we're up against. At least, I hope so. Well, that doesn't sound good. What's up? You worried about something? Honestly, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's great that all three servants we defeated came over to our side. That's certainly the best outcome we could have wished for. But, that's also why I'm worried. I can't see us having that kind of luck twice. Yeah, I guess you got a point there. In fact, I've been feeling the same thing. And I'm sure that means we're going to be facing some tough opponents. We're counting on you, Master. Uh, I'll do my best. Alright, tonight's Great Holy Grail War is about to begin. Good luck to you all. Very well, then, my boon companions. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Keep my glorious words close to your heart, and may fortune smile upon you. Is that really going to help us? Oh well, guess we don't need it anyway. Let's go, Gabriel! Ah, okay. Two berserkers and an archer.